G'day guys, welcome to the episode. Today I'm with Jed, Jed's dad Nathan who's up the top, and I'm with Jai and Ron Warlock today, riding in comfort in the Bertram. Going for Marlin, hopefully we can get myself my first Marlin and hopefully everyone can kind of get a fish or some dollies, but it would be sick to get my first Marlin because I've never got one before. But you guys know Jed and I'm gonna introduce you to Jai. So, Jai and I's friendship started off pretty rocky one day <laughs> fishing for Yellowfin, the dream fish on my boat you could press up here. It's pretty funny what happened, but um, yeah, we, he had a big fish on and your beauty decided to go our own track and just run it straight over. <laughs> and he lost the fish. It's, we can laugh at it now. We can laugh at it now, but um, at the time I thought they were going to take me to the mangroves and and do yeah. something to me but yeah i gave him some lures and we're friends now but yeah so wish us luck hopefully we can see some marlin in the spread and get the drone up and just just get the feel of marlin i guess and see some action anyway Phew. first marlin of the day seen is there actually a marlin yeah is that oh, cool? yeah. another marlin that one's in the spread that was sick that was a striped marlin. You guys didn't really get to see it, but before the camera turned on, it jumped like four times with the lure in its mouth. So we brought that in because lures don't hook up as well as bait. So we just got two skip baits out now, but that was that was pretty damn sick, I gotta admit. Just seeing it jump with the lure in its mouth. <laughs> wow. Little stripey tuna. We just sent him back. the hook in him. You right there, Bluey? <laughs> oh! With us hooking well, fish in the tail. It's actually in the tail. He's holding it up still. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh? Alright. You're biting down on me. Go and turn. I'll spin him with turn him around. Yeah. Hooks out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
reckon we'll get him away, but. Strike Marlon, he's swimming now. He came in tower wrap, so it's a bit hard. I didn't want to take a while to get going. What? The rig on. Ten, fifteen minutes trying to swim it and you know he's still moving his mouth but he wasn't kicking you saw it go belly up so none of it will be wasted but boys thanks for the first first marlin thanks Nathan Joy oh well such an amazing fish Phew. put the spread back in like I said, none of us really wanted to keep it. We wanted to let it go, especially for my first one. That's why we tagged it. But after 15 minutes, it just didn't swim. Yeah, we could have just let it sink to the bottom of the ocean and let the nature take its course. But, you know, we might as well get some fillets off it. I've had it before and it's pretty good. So, yeah, no complaints whatsoever. But I did want to see it swim off, but oh well. Can't win them all. was hooked in the tail, which is just incredible. I think Jed and I have hooked like four game fish now in the tail. It's just crazy, but anyway, on deck. Cut the head and the tail off so it fits in the bag, put some icing with it, keep it a bit better because we're going to eat it. There's no point just leaving it in the sun, so yeah, keep it fresh and hopefully it'll still be good on the plate and we're all going to be eating good. When you can. Just grab it and hold on. Grab it, just hold on. There you go, you got it now, just hold on. Wrap and crack. 
if you can grab a spill, just hold on. Yeah, bro, hold, 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 hold on. on. Get a wrap. Grab, grab, grab. wrap it. Don't let go, Jed. Yeah, don't let go, none of you. <laughs> this is your one to swim away. Drags back down halfway. Hold on, hold on. Just hold on. Just grab his bill and hold on. Hang on, no. Hang on don't let go. Two hands, Harry. Two, Two hands. hands, both hands. Yeah, Yo! Oh, yeah. oh, I need hold on, Harry. So we can get him off. Oh, I just got whacked in the face so hard by his bill. <laughs> yeah, this is sick. Oh. The tag, got the tag in. Sending a spread back out with two skip baits and maybe a lure because there would have been a fair few fish there as soon as we got a double and there was heaps of birds and stuff when we we'll yeah, find that fish. Double. I got whacked pretty bad. <laughs> that would have been that was pretty close. I was pretty lucky with that. Could have got my eye, could have got something else, but yeah. Just a little battle scar for me. But first tag for me, got it in the somewhere in the back near the tail. Um, yeah, did the job. He swam off fine, got in the water with it. That was pretty sick, but yeah, that was awesome. Hopefully, we can get a couple more. Yeah, we're, we're tight, we're tight. Get a pedro, get a pedro. Yeah, it's fine. Pull the pedro, pull the pedro. Nice, drop that. Yeah. Keep down, keep down. We just lost that fish. We're now 5 4 2. Five whacked our fish. We hooked. How many do we hook? Four. We hooked four and we landed two to the boat. So yeah, hopefully, there's a few fish here. There must be some bait, a lot of fish, because we keep hooking up in the same spot. So hopefully Jed can get one, and that would be sick. But yeah, it's getting pretty late in the Arvo, but it must be a nice Arvo bite. No complaints, a bit choppy, but good times. Bring the spread in, it is 10 past five in the Arvo. I don't know if we're going past the fat or not, but it's probably just sending it in, I think. Had a sick day, went two from five, but yeah, so sick. Got my first marlin. Yeah, yeah, that was epic. We'll see you guys when we get in or when we get to the fat or on the way home, who knows, but yeah, what a sick day. Ew. Welcome back guys, it's a windy summer's day. Instead of going out cooking something, we're gonna cook it on the barbecue right here in the Offshore Adventures kitchen. Today I'm gonna to make a healthy fish and chips for my lunch, and I'm gonna try and stick away from all the oil, and yeah, have a healthy fish and chips and salad. And I've actually portioned my meals today, and I'm gonna try and not cook too much, I guess. First thing I'm gonna do is make a marinade. Got a few ingredients here, got some soy, some lemon juice, Bit of garlic. And lastly, some honey. Mix all that up. That's good. So I've got my piece of marlin with me. If anyone gave me that and said, guess what fish, I'd be guessing tuna. It looks exactly the same. Tastes very similar. I was very surprised. Had it sashimi, had it cooked. And yeah, just really, to me, it tasted like tuna. It's really nice, really pink flesh, and I'm pretty damn stoked with it. Anyway, we'll put that in the marinade. Make sure it all gets covered. And we'll let that sit for about half an hour. If you can let it sit for longer, the better, but it's my lunch today. But while it's marinating, we can get the chips and salad ready. Now I'm just gonna chop up the sweet potato into some chips. There we have it. It's 
Been about half an hour, the chips are almost cooked, the fish is marinated. So, turn the barbecue on. We'll let that heat up. I think the barbecue is hot enough. Put this Marlin steak on. So if I was using a fry pan, normally the honey and the soy would all stick to the fry pan, but on this, the barbecue is a lot easier, it doesn't stick as much, and yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's been about 10 minutes, the steak looks ready. Put that bad boy off. Finished off with the chips and salad. That's my Austro Adventures. A bit healthier, fish, chips, and salad. Looks delicious. Thanks everyone for watching, thanks Jed, thanks Jai, and thanks Nathan for getting me on to my first ever Marlin. It's unlucky that we had to put it on deck, but like this, none of it's gonna be wasted. Mm. That is seriously so damn good. I'm gonna finish off my healthy lunch. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Yo. Hey dogs, out on Warlock. <laughs> Already lost two fish for the day, how many more can we lose? <laughs>